In this video, I'm going to talk about changing pupil levels. Now, when pupils start, you set them on a level, the uh, level that they're operating at, and they answer some questions. Now, to see how they're doing, uh, this report called um, Group Activity Snapshot is a good way of monitoring in the early stages. The graph shows the pupils along the bottom, and then how many questions they've answered uh, up the side, activities, and then the green part of the chart represents questions right first time, light blue second time, dark blue third time, and red where they're shown the answer. Now ideally the pupils should be operating in the 60 to 80 percent right first time. That means they're getting enough challenge but it's not too easy. So looking at this particular chart these pupils are um, all okay. However you might see one where the green part is, is either non-existent or very low, or alternatively where the, they've done a significant number of questions, say sort of 10, 20, 30, and they are all green. Now if that is the case and you need to change the level, then simply go onto the Groups tab, find the class that you want to look at, this was class 2, I'm going to click it here, and then select the pupil that you want to change, let's suppose it was the first one, and if you click on the, the level button, you can then select a different level. Okay, You have to then tick this box here to say change the level is going to lose the data, but that's fine because that data is really irrelevant because the questions are too easy or too hard. Click OK and that will affect the change. And then the pupil can carry on at the right level. Monitor them for another couple of weeks and hopefully that should sort the problem out.